In the shadow of Geneva, below the surface, lies a marvel of human creativity and a possible harbinger of doom. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC. This huge machine is the pinnacle of modern scientific achievements, allowing scientists to explore the subatomic world and unlock the secrets of the universe. But have we unwittingly embarked on a quest for knowledge in our quest for disaster? Recently, physicist Brian Cox made a chilling statement that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Something mysterious has been discovered at CERN that may have implications beyond our current understanding. What if our relentless pursuit of knowledge led us to imminent disaster? The LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile-long ring of superconducting magnets in the world's largest and most powerful nuclear smasher. It represents the pinnacle of human achievement, able to recreate the conditions that existed at the birth of the universe. But does this unusual machine, designed to unlock the secrets of space, also hold the key to something far more sinister? Founded in 1954, CERN is one of the most famous research institutes in the world, with 23 member states and thousands of scientists. It serves as a center for international cooperation and scientific development. The LHC is CERN's flagship, but it is only one part of a huge network of particle accelerators. These accelerators are not for engines or horses, but for subatomic particles in a race with the fabric of existence. The LHC accelerates protons to almost the speed of light and sends them on a collision course that mimics the conditions of the universe during the Big Bang. These collisions produce temperatures millions of times higher than the center of the sun. A complex array of magnets guides the protons on their path, while sophisticated cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than room. The design of the LHC is a technological marvel. It consists of two nearly identical beams located 574 feet underground and shielded from the Earth's radiation. The entire system is cooled to minus 456 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than the vacuum of space. This extreme cold is necessary for the superconducting magnets to function optimally. The beams inside the LHC collide at four points around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the locations of the four particle detectors. ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each detector serves a unique purpose by probing different aspects of particle physics. Together, they act like giant cameras, recording snapshots of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, looking for signals from the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena that could provide clues about the fundamental building blocks of the universe. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument. It is a symbol of human curiosity and innovation. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. But as we push the boundaries of our knowledge, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of exploring the unknown? Can our pursuit of knowledge unwittingly unleash forces beyond our control? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the limits of human understanding are constantly questioned, a discovery has been made that sends shivers down the spines of even the most experienced scientists. Brian Cox, a former CERN scientist and prominent voice in the field of particle physics, recently made a statement that left the world both intrigued and alarmed. CERN's Large Hadron Collider aims to create a miniature version of the Big Bang, the event that gave birth to our universe, Cox said. The implications of this goal are profound due to the unprecedented potential of the LHC for new discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and study dark matter, the mysterious substance that makes up a significant part of the universe. The possibility of applying the creative power itself is attractive, but fraught with danger. The mini Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. This is the tangible reality of the LHC. Temperatures, pressures, and raw energy mimic the conditions of the early universe. It is like standing on the threshold of history and witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question arises. What are the potential risks? In 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a catastrophic accident that changed his life forever. While working at the U, 
70 synchrotron at the Institute of High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, due to a malfunction, Bugorsky's head was in the path of a proton beam. A beam of a measurable energy level passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Bugorsky saw a flash of light brighter than a thousand suns, but felt no pain. The rapid travel caused localized tissue death, resulting in hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Remarkably, Bugorsky's cognitive abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not just a personal tragedy, but a cautionary tale that highlights the enormous power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC should not be taken lightly. Possible unexpected reactions and manipulation of the structure of reality is not science fiction, but a serious concern expressed by some in the scientific community. The mysteries of the universe are not mere toys, but tools of immense power. One of the most perplexing problems of the LHC experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so strong that even light cannot escape. The idea that the LHC could produce such an entity, even on a microscopic scale, is both exciting and terrifying. Scientists at CERN suggested that any black holes formed would be unstable and disappear almost immediately. But the mere possibility created debate, fear, and respect for our authority. To understand how the LHC can create a black hole, one must study the mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are accelerated to almost the speed of light, the energy associated with them is so enormous that it deforms the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a tightly stretched trampoline on which a heavy weight has fallen. The fabric bends, and if the weight is heavy enough, it creates a depression so deep that anyone nearby is pulled into it. This is a simplified analogy of what might happen at the LHC. In the field of quantum physics, where the rules of the universe are both strange and wonderful, it is hypothesized that there may be additional dimensions to our reality. If these dimensions exist, LHC collisions can exploit them and create a gravitational funnel that forms a small black hole. This complicated dance of particles has even attracted the attention of some of the world's most famous scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his book Starmus, Hawking warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy levels. This instability could lead to a catastrophic vacuum rupture, a cosmic event that would not only destroy the Earth, but destroy the entire universe. The famous English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees expressed his concern about the experiments carried out at CERN. In his book on the future, Prospects for Humanity, Rees explored the potential dangers associated with particle accelerator experiments, including those at CERN. His words were not mere warnings. They were overshadowed by a sense of existential dread. He described a worst-case scenario in which a destructive experiment could trigger a phenomenon called vacuum instability. That instability could theoretically cause a phase change that would vibrate through the fabric of space-time resulting in a catastrophe that would engulf the entire universe. Rees determined the probability, although small, of these catastrophic consequences. Even so, he argued, even the smallest opportunity makes us stop and think carefully. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is acute. CERN scientists have calculated and recalculated the risks and conducted rigorous safety assessments to ensure that their experiments do not pose a threat to our planet or the universe. They took every precaution to mitigate potential dangers, stressing that the benefits of their research outweigh the risks. However, as we delve into the unknown, we must be keenly aware of the ethical and existential consequences of our pursuit of knowledge. The mysteries of the universe beckon us, but we must tread carefully, always aware of our power and the responsibilities that come with IT. To understand the potential of the LHC and the deep questions it raises, we must delve into the nature of its experiments and the discoveries it seeks. The main purpose of the LHC is to study the fundamental particles and forces that make up the universe. One of its most significant achievements is the discovery, 2012, of the Higgs boson. 
a particle that plays a central role in the standard model of particle physics, giving mass to other particles. This groundbreaking discovery confirmed theories proposed decades earlier and opened new avenues of research. However, the properties of the LHC extend far beyond the Higgs boson. It is also designed to study dark matter, a mysterious form of matter that does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible to current detection methods. Dark matter is thought to make up about 27% of the universe, but its nature remains elusive. By studying proton collisions at high energy, scientists hope to produce dark matter particles and understand their properties. This research could change our understanding of the cosmos and solve one of the biggest mysteries in modern physics. The LHC also aims to investigate the existence of extra dimensions. According to some theories, our universe can have more than four dimensions.